Some words from Psalm 94. Blessed are those who instruct God, those you teach your law. They find comfort in evil times, till a grave is dug for the wicked. You never desert your people, Lord, never abandon your chosen. Right and justice will return, bringing peace to the honest. As you enter into prayer today, take a moment to be still. Come into God's presence with a deep felt desire to meet with God now. Know that God is the God who sees you and that God is looking at you now with great love. Pause for a moment and be still. Lord God, judge of all, before whom no secrets are hidden. Let your justice shine out and your righteousness sweep wickedness from its throne, that we may live free from fear and stumbling through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Fasting is one of the traditional disciplines of Lent and an observant Jew in the time of Jesus would fast twice a week. But Jesus' response to the disciples of John the Baptist is not a breach of tradition, but an invitation to recognise that Jesus' ministry marks a whole new beginning. This Lent, as we continue to journey through uncharted territory, how do we invite God to make a new beginning in us? A reading from Matthew chapter 9. Then the disciples of John came to Jesus, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them, can they? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. Spend some time reflecting on the reading, mulling it over. Ask what God wants you to hear today. Offer your personal prayers and thanksgiving and offer the day to God in a spirit of gratitude and thanksgiving. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever.